So today I'm talking about how to stop talking too much. And in this video, I'm going to share some simple strategies you can learn today for how to stop talking too much in relationships, because I know it's hurting you and I don't want that. But first, if you're new, my name is Michelle Ferris. I'm a psychotherapist and I love helping people create relationships that work. So the first thing you need to do when you're compulsively talking too much is identify the need behind compulsive talking because I guarantee every behavior serves a function and serves a purpose. And you need to find out what that is so that you can replace that need. Because if you just stop the behavior, it typically isn't as effective as when you get to the heart of what the behavior is really about. So for instance, some people compulsively talk to alleviate anxiety or you might not know what to do in a social situation so you tell a lot of stories and you don't really know how to listen or you might be uncomfortable with silence or you might feel starved emotionally for support and to be heard and if you don't have a lot of support in your life maybe in conversation you have a hard time controlling yourself all of those are very common reasons why people compulsively talk but i want you to think about it right now why do you compulsively talk? What need is underneath that for you? Is it to be heard? Is it to be seen as the expert? Is it to alleviate anxiety or you don't know what else to do socially? Because all of those reasons are gonna help you understand what to fix next. So that's the next step is you gotta find a healthier alternative other than compulsively talking. So if you realize that you really wanna be the expert, Maybe consider tutoring someone or teaching someone something or volunteering and being an expert somewhere. Because sometimes if you're wanting to share your knowledge and that's part of the reason why you're compulsively talking, find a healthy outlet for that. So if you have trouble with social cues, then you might take a class on social skills and really look at how to increase your confidence socially. Because if that's why you're compulsively talking, it's probably not working for you really well. And learning some simple, basic social skills can go a long way. If it's anxiety, you may need to learn how to self-soothe and to really talk to yourself. And I'm gonna give you some suggestions later on in this video on how to do that. If your need is to have more support, then you might consider joining a support group or getting some therapy or finding a community where you can build relationships because addressing your need underneath the compulsive talking is part of the solution because then you know what to fix. We can't simply stop a behavior. That's too hard. We have to replace it by also understanding what your need is. So do some journaling and really get in touch with what that need is under the compulsive talking because then you're gonna know what to fix. The next suggestion is to learn social cues in relationships. Learn how to spot the social cues of another person because this is very powerful. So for instance, when you're in conversation with somebody and they can't maintain eye contact, they're probably either standing too close to you or they're starting to lose interest in what you're saying. Another sign is, do they look disinterested? Are they fidgeting a lot? Are they looking around? Because all of those signs tell you that they're not really invested in the conversation. And those are important social cues because if you can start to spot when somebody is disinterested, that's your cue to take a breath and do something different. Because catching yourself in the moment, compulsively talking, is part of the work. And if you can focus on what social cues and signs you're receiving, that's gonna help you a lot. Because if somebody looks disinterested or if somebody can't maintain eye contact with you, that's a good sign for you to take a breath and stop talking and see if you can give them a chance to talk or ask a question. Because the other thing I notice with people who are compulsive talkers is that you might not be comfortable with silence. And if that's the case, use that to your advantage and ask them a question. Say, well, what do you think about what I'm saying? Or how are you? What's going on in your life? Because part of social skills is to have a balanced conversation where you're doing some of the talking and listening and they're doing some of the talking and listening. So a really good goal is to try to achieve that 50-50 balance in conversation where you're talking some of the time and they're talking some of the time. That's a really good goal for someone who is a compulsive talker. 
Next, I want you to create a mantra for yourself. This is a positive self-soothing statement to calm yourself in social situations. Because if the reason you're talking too much is because you're trying to alleviate your own anxiety, this one is gonna help. So some things you can tell yourself is, everything is gonna be okay. I am enough exactly as I am. I don't have to talk all the time. Silence is okay. I can handle this. Because the mantra is gonna give you something else to focus on in that moment. So I want it to be something positive in the moment that's gonna help you relax. The other thing you can do is to use your breath. And the minute you notice yourself starting to get anxious, take a deep breath. Use your mantra. I'm okay. I can handle this. I can do better. I can listen to that other person right now. All of those statements are examples of how you can nurture yourself in the moment. And again, this takes practice. This is not something you're going to do correctly 100% the first time. But progress, not perfection, is the goal. And even if you try one thing differently today, that's a sign of progress. If you relate to talking too much, say yes in the comments because I'm right there with you. I've too had my challenges with compulsive talking. Now, the next thing I want you to do is challenge negative thoughts. Because often when we're feeling anxious or we're talking too much, we're probably covering up some negative thoughts about ourselves. Maybe you don't feel confident in social situations or you feel like you're stupid or you feel like you're not interesting. All of those things are called negative self-talk where you're basically condemning yourself before you even speak up. And the goal here is to really let yourself be in the moment. Because if you're in your head rehearsing the conversation you think you should be having, you're not present in the conversation. You're worrying about what you're gonna say next versus really listening to what's happening in the interaction. So part of the goal for a compulsive talker is to learn how to be in the moment. And it's okay if you don't know what to say. You can just be in the moment, take a breath, maybe ask a question, maybe wait to see what the other person has to say and use your mantra to get out of that negative self-talk because part of what makes it difficult to socialize with people is if we're already condemning ourselves by telling ourselves bad things like you're stupid, you're wrong, you don't know what to say, people aren't gonna like you. Because you know what? That type of negative self-talk is usually not true anyway. It's based on some old beliefs and old messages you got in childhood that really aren't necessarily true about you today. So part of what you can do to heal yourself is to really challenge that negative self-talk. And the mantra is a great way to do that. The next thing I want you to do is go watch my video on how to love yourself more because building up your self-esteem is gonna be part of your healing. Thanks so much.